good debate. I thought we brought up a wide variety of issues. We've had a chance to talk about how this war in Iraq is not only costing us in so many ways, it's also not real for our national security. We had a chance to talk about homeland security in a serious way. Now, Senator Lieberman's tenure in the Homeland Security Committee has not brought back results for the state of Connecticut. So I thought it was a good, hard-hitting debate. We've got a chance to talk about issues that people really care about. A lot of people mentioning that, you know, Schlesinger all of a sudden has become a voice in this race. How do you He's the Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate. Of course he's a voice in this race. And he was standing up and uh, representing his point of view. You know, do I agree with him when it comes to, uh, you know, bombing Iran? No. Do I agree that uh, putting a 50-foot fence is the sole answer to uh, securing our borders? No. There's a lot we disagree on, but he's a voice in this race. Two parties. Why, um, why should people believe you will be able to work with Republicans given the tone of the campaign? The tone of the campaign has been on the issues, and we're trying to put forward a bold and constructive alternative to the Bush-Lieberman agenda, be it in uh, national security, be it the war, be it the energy bill. We tried to come forward with an alternative. But look, I don't think, I think we need some checks and balances in Washington, D.C. I think you want people to stand up and put forward a real alternative. In my, um, in my closing, I tried to say we've got a mess on our hands. We've got a mess on our hands in Iraq, not because we asked too many questions, because we asked too few. And I think we should do everything we can to encourage a bold discussion of the ideas, and that's what this campaign's been about. I think Mark is asking, can you work at one? Can you, can you work for them? them, not for them. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe remember Senator Lieberman's ad during the primary when he accused me of being too bipartisan, when he said I vote with the Republicans 80% of the time, when he said Absolutely. It's a debate about national security. And is the war in Iraq making us any safer? We created a national intelligence estimate. You know, the opinion of our intelligence agencies said, no, it's not making us safer. Then we have to put forward a constructive alternative. And we said, let's complete the mission. Let's deal with homeland security in a serious way. Screen the cargo coming into New Haven and New London and Bridgeport. That's where we deal with real security.